The death toll for the pandemic has been awful, and there are many questions about decisions in the past. How did it get to this, Prime Minister? But today, the Prime Minister sought to look ahead with a basic timetable for getting out of this lockdown. The national priority, the Prime Minister told MPs, was reopening schools, but that would have to wait until at least March. If we achieve our target of vaccinating everyone in the foremost vulnerable groups with their first dose by the 15th of February, and every passing day sees more progress towards that goal, then those groups that have developed immunity from the virus about three weeks later, that is by the 8th of March. We hope it will therefore be safe to begin the reopening of schools from Monday the 8th of March. The government's timeline for a lockdown exit looks like this. In the week starting February the 15th, government scientists will review the data on how effective vaccination and the lockdown have been. In the week starting February the 22nd, the government will publish a timetable for exit based on that data. But already we know March the 8th is the earliest schools in England can go back, whatever the data says, and the earliest point at which other lockdown relaxation can happen. Earlier, isolating at home for the third time, the Labour leader had said the way to bring forward school reopening was to speed up the vaccination of staff. Once the first four categories of the most vulnerable have been vaccinated by mid-February, he should bring forward the vaccination of key workers and use the window of the February half term to vaccinate all teachers and all school staff. For many, the government's timetable will feel like a long wait, but others fear we may not wait long enough. What it looks like here is we may be trying to wind down again too early again, and we may have the same problem, create the circumstances for yet another wave. The plans of so many people have already been destroyed in the last year, Will even this rough outline survive contact with the realities of the pandemic? Andy Bell, 5 News.